This is Jupiter Today for the 7th of March, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant one, heading east. Europa starts the day at its eastern elongation. It can be moving into quadrant two, heading west. Ganymede spends all day in quadrant one, heading east. And Callisto also spends all day in quadrant one, heading east. At six hours UTC, Eo has passed its eastern elongation and is now in quadrant two, heading west. 1017 UTC, Europa goes through an apogee. That's the furthest distance it is from Jupiter in this orbit. And that's 677,290.1 kilometers. And then at 1111 UTC, Eo goes through a perigee. That's the closest it'll be to Jupiter in this orbit. And that's 420,032.3 kilometers. And by 12 hours UTC, Eo is now firmly in quadrant two, heading west, as well as Europa. And by 18 hours UTC, Eo has successfully transited Jupiter and is now in quadrant three, heading west. And by zero hours UTC, Eo is now firmly in quadrant three, heading west, going towards its western elongation. And Europa is in the process of transiting Jupiter from Earth's point of view. This blue line is the line of sight to Earth, and this gray line is the line of sight to the Sun. And there are eight Jupiter satellite events today. At 3.46 UTC, Callisto reappears from the shadow of Jupiter. And then at 15.20, the transit of Eo begins. At 16 hours UTC, the shadow of Eo ingresses. At 1737 UTC, the transit of EO ends. And at 1817, the shadow of EO egresses. At 2046 UTC, the transit of Europa begins. At 2209, the shadow of Europa ingresses. And at 2340 UTC, the transit of Europa ends. There are three satellite mutual events today. The first goes from 8.57 UTC to 9.02, and that's when Europa eclipses Ganymede. It's a 5.7 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.863 arc seconds and a very shallow eclipse of 0.043 magnitudes. Ganymede is 186.54 arc seconds from Jupiter, and Europa and Ganymede are 38.32 arc seconds apart. And visibility for this event is Western North America, all of the Pacific, including Hawaii. Next mutual event goes from 1121 to 1128 UTC, and that's when Europa occults Callisto. That's a 7.5 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.036 arc seconds. It's more or less a perfect occultation with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.211 magnitudes and it's a good distance away 125.69 arc seconds so photometric observations of this event would be really really great um, photography would be excellent as well visibility of this is eastern asia a lot of Australia, Hawaii can still see this, Western Pacific. And the third mutual event for today goes from 1453 to 1503 UTC. And that's when Europa eclipses Callisto. It's a 10.2 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.28 arc seconds and a pretty deep eclipse of 0.533 magnitudes and it's a good distance away as well it's 156.85 arc seconds from jupiter and europa and callisto are 
five seconds are seconds apart. So that again is a good photometric or photographic event. And as you can see from the Google Earth view, all of Asia is going to be able to see this. Looks like most of Australia is going to be able to see this as well. Alright, orbital ribbons for today. These are the temporal and spatial connections between the four Galilean moons today. These are the same orbits that you just saw. And I've just connected these points in time. So here's the connection between Io and Europa and Io and Ganymede. That's a nice little twist there. And Io and Callisto. And then Europa and Ganymede. Europa and Callisto. And finally Ganymede and Callisto. And then I combine them all and colorize them a little bit to get that for today. 24 hours of Jupiter's sky. It's as if we're standing on the equator of Jupiter at a longitude of zero degrees, looking out to the sky over the next 24 hours at Jupiter. Looks like EO is going to overtake Europa there. Hopefully someday human eyes will be able to witness this event. It won't have to simulate it. There goes Europa between Jupiter and the Sun. That would be seen as a transit from Earth's point of view. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian three times today. The first at 124, the second at 1120, and the third at 2115 UTC. There were no new images, but there was some new radio data from the 6th of March. And there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, seven minutes, 7.1 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 33 minutes, 46.5 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun as seen from Earth is 148.133 degrees, and that's 1.098 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle, which is the angle between Earth and the Sun as seen from Jupiter, is 5.63 degrees, and that's 0.176 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. It's starting to slow down. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth at zero hours UTC is 669 million 90,674 kilometers, and that's 1,253,601 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 52,233.38 kilometers per hour, and that's 1,622.5 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 798,980,380 kilometers, and that's 46,067 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,877.79 kilometers per hour, and that's 0.75 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC CM1, 248.06 degrees, CM2, 47.6 degrees, 
CM3, 323.64 degrees. Time of this recording is 1.33 UTC on the 7th of March, 2015. So please subscribe, and thank you to those who have subscribed. Welcome to the new subscribers. Hope you find this information informative and inspiring to go out and observe Jupiter. That's one of the larger projects that I'm working on, is to be able to monitor Jupiter and the Jupiter system uh, as continuously as we possibly can because the more we, we look, the more we're going to discover about this very highly dynamic place. So you can send your comments and questions and suggestions and images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.